Hey everyone, the next plugin that I want to go over with you is called Dig Dig. Two G's on both of the digs. Now what Dig Dig is, is it is a social networking sharing plugin. So I'm just, I'm going to show you again what it does. Okay, here is Dig Dig. Okay, what it does is it puts uh, either at the bottom of your blog post or at the top of your blog post or you can even have a, a floating at the side it it puts the the share buttons so your your LinkedIn your Google uh, your stumble upon your delicious your reddit dig Facebook the Facebook share the Facebook like there's there's a whole bunch of different ones this is critical to getting people to share your blog and to get links back into your blog which the search engines love and you know to get people um, interacting with your blog okay so dig dig is within WordPress so I'm just gonna go back over to you to add new plugins and I'm just gonna search for dig dig it's the very first one that comes up I will install it now and I will activate it now this one has quite a few settings that go along with it uh, just I want to just find something in my other blog here quickly I wonder why I can't find this one in here okay anyway so dig dig deactivate it visit plugin site dig dig configuration it's actually here rather than creating a menu option okay so we're just gonna go there and okay so then the very first thing you can do is just enable normal display okay and I'm gonna save the changes so this is what I have in my blog this is the, the normal display okay there's there's other options as well okay buttons are displayed in posts okay I only want them displayed in posts I don't want them on pages my pages are gonna be for other things it's usually for static content uh, but you know feel free to have it on your home page to have it on your pages it's completely up to you where you want to put these play around with it maybe once you install it you look at it and think eh, no that just doesn't look right and you can take it out okay I've got it set to include all okay I I don't have anything that I exclude from digging and then the the way I did it was I used the um, you can choose and customize the button layout to display and just one second here dig dig configuration I just want to look at something here ah, okay okay <clears throat> so if it says none then what that means is it's not going to show up okay so now what I do is say okay well I want this one and I want it to be after content um, LinkedIn after content the Facebook okay I think I've got reddit after content I, I have another way for doing Twitter but you can certainly do Twitter okay the Facebook like uh, yes I do this one and then which other one did I do I do the Facebook share I mean you can do as many of these as you want but think about how it's gonna look at the bottom of your blog do you really want to have like all of these at the bottom of your blog okay the other one I do is I do delicious and I do dig those are kind of the most popular ones okay then your button design okay the one that I use is the compact okay so anywhere that I've done this I'm gonna go and I'm gonna say compact 
okay because the the big buttons quite honestly are kind of ugly okay I for the Facebook I use the standard like okay so coming over here that's this here that's the standard like okay and then where's another one here Facebook share I use compact dig I use compact and then delicious compact did I choose stumble upon oh I like to use stumble upon I actually get some really good traffic from stumble upon so I highly recommend that you use it okay and then the other thing you want to do otherwise it's just really gonna look funky okay I'm just gonna save the changes and I'll kinda of show you what it looks like right now Okay, so let's open this in a new tab so that I can stay on that page. Okay, now, uh, here, let me just click here on my about me. Yeah, see, I don't, I don't have a post is the problem. So let me just do this. Post, add new. Oh, that's going to take forever. You know what I can do to show you this? Okay, these are compact buttons. Okay, so I'm just going to come over to my blog and I am going to change my stumble upon to be normal. Okay, so that's this one here. You see what it looks like now? Okay, watch when I refresh my blog. So just let me come down here. I'm just going to have to drag something over onto the screen to save the changes. alright okay now when I refresh over here what you're gonna see now for this particular post when it refreshes you see how this is big now okay so that that's what a standard button looks like as opposed to a compact button okay so that's why I, I normally just go with the uh, the compact buttons okay so that post for whatever reason is taking forever so I'm just gonna come back over to the dig dig configuration Okay, so this is why I, I use the compact uh, buttons. So now the other thing is this the weight. Okay, and what this does is if this is set at 100 and then I have this set at 99, I have something else set at 98, and they'll actually, they won't show up on the same row on your blog so they won't show up in a nice row like this they'll actually show up kind of staggered and it, it actually looks kind of ugly okay you can play around with that if you want but what I like to do is just change all of the um, all of the ones that I'm going to use I change them to be a hundred and then everything just shows up a lot cleaner on your blog post which really is what you want okay now if you had um, if you had a whole bunch of these then I can see where the weighting makes sense because then what you're essentially doing is saying I want certain ones to be on the first row certain ones to be on the second row because these won't all fit on one row it's just not gonna happen the buttons are too big okay and then if you wanted to you can set this lazy loading which basically loads your page a lot faster your page loads and it doesn't wait for these to load okay so anything that, that you can do lazy loading for just set it and we're gonna save those changes okay and then there's just some advertising at the bottom here and so if you wanted to you could just you could reset everything if you wanted to okay and so then your other options are to um, buttons are displayed in horizontal or vertical so you can display them vertically if you want to I like horizontally okay and the other thing you can do is if you specify where they show up because what you can actually do is rather than having them show up here 
you can actually have them show up and it's floating just outside the border of your blog. Um, now I can't show you outside of the border of their blog right now, but it's you know once again you play around with these plugins. You're not going to screw anything up by just changing this. And what you need to do is you need to set it up the way you want it to look on your blog. What looks right? Maybe the floater on the side, maybe that's going to look right. Okay, once again, it's personal preference, however you want to set it up. But these are the basics for setting up Dig Dig. Like I said, this is critical for social networking and sharing and getting your content out there. And so this is uh, a plugin that, you know, although not essential, I think in these days with Web 2.0, I think it's really important. Okay, so make sure you get this one installed. And that's it for Dig Dig, and I'll see you in the next video.